Hey guys, welcome back to today's quick EMS guide. My name is Mike from Rescue Academy and today I'm going to go over aspirin. So aspirin is one of those EMT drugs that everyone feels like they really know what it is, what it does, uh, but do you? Okay, why are we giving aspirin in chest pain? Now, aspirin, the classification of this medication is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Believe it or not, this medication was actually created by the Bayer company, and it was actually the first NSAID ever made. Fun fact. The dose of aspirin is 162 milligrams to 324 milligrams, and it's by mouth, so it's chewables. Now they're chewable tablets. They're small little tablets that we can give up to four. Now before we give these medications, we wanna ensure that the patient does not have allergies to aspirin. Now unfortunately, <clears throat> an adverse effect of aspirin is it can cause abdominal pain or discomfort. Now if your patient does complain of abdominal pain or discomfort when they take aspirin, understand that that is an adverse effect and it is not an allergy to this medication. If somebody tells you that it's hard to breathe or they actually have a severe allergic reaction when they do take aspirin, those are the patients that we're not gonna give it to. So for the indications for this patient, it's gonna be used for your chest pain patients that you are suspecting a possible myocardial infarction or a heart attack. Understand that this medication is not, not a blood thinner. Okay, it does not thin out the blood. Well, what it does is it reduces the chance of platelet aggregation. Now, if you remember anatomy, you remember that there's different components of blood, one being platelets. Now, platelets work in the process of clot formation. All right, this is a process known as coagulation. This medication reduces the process of coagulation. It is used for patients that uh, have a possible stroke, increased chance of clotting, and also for our chest pain patients to try to reduce that clotting that might be forming within the heart. Now, a couple contraindications that you must know before giving this medication. First, what they always say, hypersensitivity. Your patient who is allergic, uh, if they've ever had a really bad reaction to this medication that can possibly cause shortness of breath, where you will not be given that medication. The other is abdominal ulcers. If somebody has abdominal bleeding, this can cause serious effects with abdominal bleeding. Another adverse effect that can actually turn into a contraindication is bronchospasms. Should not be given to your asthmatic patients or patients who are possibly having an asthma attack. This can actually increase bronchospasms and actually cause or exacerbate an asthma attack. Now, aspirin is not intended for pediatric use, so do not give this medication to any kids. The onset is 30 to 45 minutes. So just a quick recap, we're gonna be giving up to four tablets of this baby aspirin, up to 324 milligrams. It's by mouth, so the patient does have to be able to chew it, meaning they have, they have to be conscious and they have to have teeth, right, to chew the medication. It's used for reducing platelet aggregation and reducing the chance of that clotting to actually occur or that coagulation. That pretty much sums up uh, this quick guide to aspirin. Remember this is an EMT medication that EMTs out there you guys can assist with this medication if you do carry it, it's in your local protocols. Just please make sure that the patient doesn't have any bleeding in their stomach and please make sure they have no allergies. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, Again, like, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.